today's stumble guys added brand new modes into the game as you can see in the bottom right on the events tab we have dash duel the clash event and then the behold the gold event all of which you will see has different number of rounds and each of them are completely unique so this one is a one round 1v1 dash duel event on legendary block dash What's interesting about this, if you get the top 1%, you will get the sticker guy, I believe his name is. In the Clash event, it is a four-player mode with two rounds. As you can see, we have Shark, Muta, and the Sharks map. And this one has the brand new Behold the Gold map. And then Finals is Lava Land. So all three of these options are really, really solid. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the top 1%, but I definitely recommend you try out all of these for yourself because they're actually really easy to win and earn rewards. Also, you're going to notice in this event, you get this special currency, which you then can spend on different items in the shop, such as these D&D &D prize boxes, which I haven't gotten enough to open, but maybe in today's video, we can open up one of them. Um, and then there is this epic skin and epic emote. Also added today is the Mimic offer, which we're going to pick up, which you get 3,500 gems, the Mimic skin, and this Roll20 uh, classic emote. But uh, if you're going to do the same, make sure you have code Baby Yoda entered in your item shop, and then we're going to pick this up, then hop into the 1v1 event. Okay, there we go, and as you can see, it is a Mythic, so let's go equip it, and then again, hop in immediately into the new event. And here we go, our first opponent. We got the Crimson Skeleton, and here's a look at the new skin. Uh, it's definitely interesting, to say the least. Get over here, I'm gonna lick you. <laughs> Are you scared? And... <laughs> oh my god, wait. This might be one of the easiest events ever. Also, for those wondering, you cannot get crowns this way. I tested it before making this video, um, and I was going to title it, like, the fastest way to get crowns or rewards or something but you do get rewards just no crowns are added um, before this i had i believe 888 um and as you can see we still have 888 but let's go one more time see if it's just luck or if it's actually going to be that easy because again you have to be in the one percent which will change over the course of the entirety of the uh challenge i don't remember how long it said it was going to be in the game but you definitely want to make sure you're at the one percent um and just now after looking you have two days and 17 hours okay let's win another one all right next up we're playing against the shiro skin what is his name Ooh, he has pro in it let's see is he prepared to play against me he's afk at the start does he have emotes <gasps> he has tetris all right we actually have competition now I'm glad that emotes are turned on for this thing, because otherwise it would last forever. I know you guys probably aren't too big of a fan that emotes are turned on, because I know for a fact a lot of people don't have the dice roll, and dice roll on block dash is so freaking good. So, now that we've won two games, where does that put us percentage-wise? Because this update just dropped, and if we're still only 100%, that is uh, not a good sign. That means people are grinding this thing. Okay, top 50% already. Not bad. Uh, let's do... Let's go until we lose. How about that? So we'll go until we lose on the 1v1s. And then we'll do the same thing for each uh, event. This might be a long video. So grab a snack. Um, and when you're watching this, is probably Friday. So happy Friday, everyone. And not to spoil it, but be on the lookout for a beta video on my main channel. Either today or tomorrow. It, uh, it'll surprise you. All right, can we go three for three on games? Honestly, I should switch up my emotes because I don't need volleyball and maybe don't even need taunt because my strategy is gonna, just going to be go as fast as possible. And if they're good at the game, I'm just going to jump into the laser because I don't think there's punishment for losing. It's just about winning your games. So maybe there's some advice. You know what? Uh, all good things come to an end. <laughs> I swear I was not close enough to that laser. Uh, but that's payback for getting, what, two other people out with the dice emote? All right, so now we're going to go on to the four-person lobbies. And that doesn't bring it up. Oh, it does. Wait, so just playing brings up your score? 
I'm not saying you should do this, but if you're really bad at block dash, I think you could just dive into the laser, no? I mean, you do have to be in the top 1%, and you only get 15 every time you lose. So that would be a lot of losing. Just a thought, though. Okay, now to the second mode. And we actually have a bot in here. Wow. So this is going to be extremely easy. Or I just miss. Okay. Um, this guy seems pretty decent. Beast Boy. If I lose to a bot, I have no excuses today. Please, just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys. Guys! Oh, my God. Taunt saved me. If we can get out the real person, that means finals is a 1v1 against a bot. Oh! I literally win. We're playing against a bot in finals. Well, there's not much competition here. Um, so, with that being said, let's go on to the next one. What? Why did it send him that way? Come on. Just jump off the ship. There you go. Wow. These events are actually super fun and fast. If you haven't played Stumble Guys for a while, this is a good, fun, like, breath of fresh air. They should have done this a long time ago, and I'm hoping that they also do this for tournaments, too. And funny enough, as I was talking about it, I checked with the creator server, and this is what they posted. So these are all the different modes, and it talks about it coming to tournaments as well. Um, so that is an awesome change. There's Showdown, which is one round of eight players. Ooh, Blitz, 32 players, last person standing. We've seen that before. Um, so we just played the Clash, which is four players. Oh, wait. Three rounds until the winner takes it all? Oh, that's interesting. Four players. Huh. All right. Turbo, uh, race through three rounds. And then original. And then duel, I believe, is left out here. But duel is the 1v1 that we just played. Um, I'm a little confused. Wait. Clash. Did it say that? Four players, three rounds. Okay. I think they mis-inputted here. This is supposed to be two rounds, I think. Uh, maybe the rounds are irrelevant. Anywho, let's continue until we lose on Clash, and then we'll go to the new Behold the Gold. Okay, um, we don't have a bot in here, although this PB&J doesn't seem all that great. Push him in. Oh, okay. We got Chestoso and BP King. Why is he going for that barrel? He's going to get himself out. I don't know what his game plan is here, but it's uh, interesting. Got one out, and there's a second. And now that we know this guy doesn't have emotes, I equipped Hug for exactly this scenario. Say goodbye. Oh, what a dive back. Okay. Wait, he has Tetris. <gasps> I underestimated you. Or did I? Kobe. Oh, dang it. Throw it. Throw it. Come on, coward. That's what I thought. <gasps> All right. You know what? I'm playing aggressive. Don't care. I'm going to kick you off the ship. Scoop and push. Ready? And launch. Dude. Why are you so scared, bro? Come on. I'm taking you with me. Panic. 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 Yes! <laughs> uh, hey, if you can't beat him, join him. We'll go again. I don't know if it's possible for me to lose on this event. Maybe it's my opponents are bad and everyone on this is just new. Or maybe I'm just made for this exact event. To be fair... It's not the most, like, sweaty mode. And I do play a limb maps, like, 90% of the time I play Stumble, guys. Just for my challenges these days. And there's one. You wouldn't get hit by that shark, would you? Oh, okay. I'm going for it. Boom! Sniper. And again, I believe Caleb here does not have emotes. So, same strategy. Go to the shark, I dare you. Oh, come on. Let me lick you. <laughs> I just realized I don't have arms. What am I hugging him with? Wait. Look at it. I'm just licking him. <laughs> Interesting. All right, let's go for a super hug. I haven't done one of those in a while. Oh, come on. All right, you jump at ship. All right, I'm following you. Good luck. Don't panic. You know what? Let's just run him down. He's gonna choke eventually. Let's see how long it takes, though. He's diving, bro. Alright. We'll go on the inside. Cut him off. Don't panic. Don't panic. He's actually kind of crazy. Wait. I've never seen someone dive so much on this level. 
Usually you just take one at a time. But I guess he is running for his life out here. Okay, well, he panicked. You can still jump on it while it's like still half in the water, by the way. Um, but that's what, three in a row? We're going until we lose. This might be a long one. Okay, this is by far the sweatiest we've seen. We have a Skeletor and two MTM members. Not sure if they're partied up together, but just want to keep that in mind. So this guy could have the sword emote. He must have the sword emote if he has the Skeletor. Yeah. And unfortunately for you, the sword emote is terrible on that map. All it takes is one second and you're done. I wonder how many I could win in a row. Maybe I should do that on the main channel. Hmm. Again, we're just going to go with the hug strategy. And they don't have emotes. So we now know we're going for it again. Panic. Panic. Mm. Doesn't work all the time. I mean, it hasn't worked yet, but maybe as they go off the ship here. Oh, come on. Dude, this guy is not good. The more I analyze his gameplay, the more I realize he is so out of place. Dude, do you not know that you're going to have to jump ship here? It didn't have a hitbox. It nudged him to the side and he just kept walking off. <gasps> oh, wow. I've never seen that before. Uh, what is that? Four in a row? Five in a row? All right. We got... Ooh, Phoenix. He has dice for sure. All right. We have our best competition yet. If you're spending what? Was it 20 bucks? 10 bucks to get that skin? You have to be decent at the game. And... Oh, come on. Get the shark out of here. Yep. We're... We have a mutual understanding. Now we have an interesting finals. All right, Phoenix. I've had enough fun. If you want to join me on the shark, let's duke it out. Come on. Don't play it smart. Jump out here. Come on. Do it. He's actually so cringe. He's just trying to snipe me. He wants this win so bad. No, fine. Just like everyone else, I'm just going to hug you. Not even going to go for the snipe because that's lame. Watch, I'm gonna bob and weave his dice, and then when the time comes, go for the hug. No way he dies the shark. Okay, watch, he's about to throw it. I'm gonna step out in front of him. What's happening, bro? How did he even die? I will say I've been flying through the rewards. So I guess if you want five gems or even these 20, pretty easy way to get it. Okay, oh no. We have another bot lobby, bruh. Okay, well, you know what that means. That's a pretty much a guaranteed win here. Unless I play too aggressive that I end up dying. If I was trying my hardest... What was that throw? Um, there would be no shot I lose this. But I'm just trying to speed things along, dude. Alright. Let's go for the skeleton. He seems the most bot-like... Get over here. Get over here. Stop running. Are you scared of my tongue? Don't answer that. And one of you has to get out. Come on. Please. Oh, no. Wait. Really? Well, we had to lose eventually. Let's go on to the gold event. All right. This is my first time playing Behold the Gold with a full lobby of real players. Let's do it. Obviously, we got to go left and take the teleportation uh, ability. And then from here, you can you can kind of do an inward angle. Um, what's most important is you hold your ability for right here. So you can teleport through the banister. Then I tend to go left through here. And then if you can, make your way to the left side. And then teleport through this gate. And then from there, it's pretty much smooth sailing. I mean, there are these NPCs, which are kind of annoying, but besides that, all you gotta do is just hold forward, and if you want to be annoying, you could activate these boulders, but you could teleport past it, um, and if you just keep with teleport, there's no reason you should not qualify first round, and since it's only first round, um, this is the only time you're really gonna have to play the map, at least for now, they might introduce it into different events, or things like that uh, but as you can see we have opened both sides of the door and not a single other person is close so let's go ahead and wait for people see if anyone joins us 
Uh, I see a couple. Come on. Hurry up now. Anyone? No? All right. This guy's name is Trump forever. Brother. All right. Interesting. <laughs> uh, average stumble guys player, I guess. All right. Uh, we got Can Pro. What's up, Derek? Move along. No one's stopping. Hi, Jason. Ooh, this guy has a cool skin. Uh, and if you want to be kind of interesting, all you need to do is go over to the side here, and you can jump up and go to where the gold is. Um, it's better if you have the jump emote, but I think you can do it regardless if there's, like, uh, other people here. Maybe if I teleport? Ooh, close. I've done it before. I don't want to get out accidentally, so let's go on to second. Okay, interesting. Super Lava Slide is going to be second round for this event. And there's a completely different approach this level that you should take. You go to the outside, and then you pretty much run for the first half. And then if you don't know, you can dive here. Um, which is really useful, because then you can... I did not touch that lava. Um, okay, this is not how I typically play the map, but it's working. So, take notes, I guess. Tell me you got a checkpoint. Uh, could have been worse. All right. Go left side, up, and one. Let's go through the middle, I guess. Don't know what just happened, but we qualified. And for finals, you have Lava Land. So this event is really good, too. I can't wait to see what other map variations they choose. Because 1v1, like Laser Tracer, or like any of the good Elim maps or race maps, I am so on board for. Because the map... The game gets so much more intense and enjoyable when you get like... Oh my gosh, you just punch four people at once. Um, when you change up the lobby size. So I'm glad that Stumble Guys is taking note of that. It would be cool if they added an option or like a one-time thing to try giant lobbies in Stumble Guys. I don't know if it's possible, but like a 50-person lobby sounds insane. I know it would probably crash some people's uh, games and stuff, but I think it would be worth trying. Um, okay. This is going to be our last game regardless, so let's just try to end on a win. Um, just because this event takes a lot of time. Um, if it was just a few people, I'd be down to do until we lose, but... <gasps> Push him off! Yes! I'm pretty sure that guy's a hacker. I don't know how he would have the baseball skin any other way. But we won like 90% of our games today. So that should tell you that the events aren't that difficult and they're really fun. Also, really quickly, at the same time as we've been doing this, I believe we actually... Oh, you earn crowns for the three-round one. Interesting. Um, at the same time, we've been earning our missions. So definitely claim those as you go through. And before we end this video, I want to open up one Dungeons & Dragons box because I think we're going to have enough currency to do so. Um, I haven't seen anyone do it before. So we have 335 in the top left there. Um, so let's open up one of these. It says 100% chance for gems. How much does it give you, though? Wait, why is it switch? That's kind of weird. 20? That's not bad. Like, I'm not even trolling when I say that. That is not bad for free. And you get it every single time? Hmm. Would you rather have, like, 200 gems or this skin? Probably the skin. I don't know. If you haven't checked out the new update, definitely do so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you have code Baby Yoda entered in your item shop. And... Really solid update, Stumble Guys. See you guys later. Goodbye.